everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I wash this toy poodle. Hi, sweetie. Now she's not too mad at She does get groomed once a month. So I just put her right in the tub. She doesn't really need any prep work. I'm going to give her a bath. So I use warm water. And now I use a sprayer. I don't fill up the bath or, or, or put her in the water or anything like that. The sprayer is best so you can wash out down the dirt. So a sprayer like this, any sprayer will do. Just a good one here. So what I do is I wet them all over using warm water. Not too hot, not too cold. Now she's a little bit shy, so she's gonna jump around. She doesn't really love love the bath, but she will tolerate the bath. So you want to make sure the poodle's not too um, matted, you know, where it needs to be shaved right down. That's a different procedure, but this is just bathing a, a well-groomed poodle. So easy. So I wet them down first. Now with my thumb, I can adjust the pressure. So I just, you know, can push it higher or lower. So around the head, I like to use a little bit slower pressure. Come here, baby. <laughs> just hang on to the nose. No, no. Just be really careful of the face because you don't want the water going down the nostrils. Sometimes it can't be helped because I know they do move, but I try and do my best. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. So once they're wetted down, I have my shampoo already ready to go. It's already mixed with the water. And I put it in this bottle. And basically I just kind of put it all over the body. Hey, my baby. Down the ears. Turn around. Oh, come on. Down the legs. There. And then I start to rub or scrub. So I'm using my other hand here. She's actually standing like that, you see? And you can put your hand on the inside thigh just to hold them. Hold them still. And you want to wash those feet because they can be smelly. You want to get your thumb right inside the pads. Do all the nails. I go onto the tail, underneath the tail. And sometimes there's dried up feces there. You can just wet that right now. It has the dog gets, you know, sitting there for a while, it'll soften up and usually that will just come right off. So then I go on to the side. Turn around. I'll come back to the side. I usually like to do the legs first. Same thing, just holding her by the um, elbow here in a comfortable position. I'm not yanking her, pulling her. Sometimes they will yank if they don't like it. Going down to the feet, using my thumb inside the pads in between the nails. And then I go to the side here. Well, she's not really dirty, but she does need a bath because she's gonna get her hair cut. So then I'll go on to the back. Come here, sweetie. And then we will go to the other side. And just keep adding shampoo if you need it. And you can also add some water some lather. Oh, they're pretty cute. You are so pretty. Get a massage. You get a massage. Oh, yeah. Some dogs actually love to be bathed. I'm just going to scrub this leg here. It's okay. I know. Some dogs like to stand only one way in the tub, so they'll keep, you know, flipping around right I know you don't like it you'd rather be laying in bed or chewing something mm, playing but you gotta get clean okay and I do the head last just so that the shampoo you know, doesn't get in the eyes or the nose so usually what I do is I do the ears first I pour some on the inside of the flap. Come here, stay here, honey. Stay here. Now just put your hand underneath and give it a good scrub. And let's try the other side too. I think I need some more shampoo there. It's okay, stay honey. So I'm just rubbing it like this. Come on, 
to my there we go and then the top now you want to hold the nose still so this is the last spot that I do and the the first spot that I will rinse because you really don't want if you think you got some in the eye just get the water now water doesn't hurt eyes you got to use the water to rinse out the soap soap can hurt eyes even even tearless soap is tearless but it still stings it just doesn't sting as much as other shampoos come here sweetie now I use my thumb she has a little bit of crusties in the corner there with my nail to get that out let me see it's okay Okay. To the other side. And usually that'll rinse right down the drain. If not, just keep working at it. And don't lick the shampoo, silly. Yeah, sometimes it'll lick the shampoo. It's not gonna hurt. Alrighty there. So there you go, I washed her. Come here. I know. I know you don't like it. Let me just get the soap off your head and then you won't have to pick it very much. Okay. Then you just use low pressure on the head. Okay. Come here. Let me get it off your nose. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I'm just using very, very minimal water here. You can use your thumb to rub the water down. There we go. Now the most important thing is to really rinse, rinse out the shampoo. Because if you leave a shampoo in there, it'll make them itchy. So she's not very dirty. Um, I'm not gonna give her too bad. Sometimes I, I wash them twice. There's some soup there. Sometimes you can get a little comb and get that off. I go get the comb. And you just rinse really, really well. Come here, sweetie. I know, you don't like turning this way. You don't look at the camera. You shy? There we go, baby. Okay, turn around again. I like to double rinse. I'm gonna get a comb, a comb and then just get the off that. Now I use little combs like this. This is, I think this is called a flea comb, but um, I use it on anything that's stuck in the fur that you don't feel like touching. There. You can use this on faces. But you see two faces, anything that's crusty, as long as it's soft, and then you just comb it out. So this comb is really nice. There you go. Now my shampoo has conditioner in it, so I don't really use the um, conditioner. I do have also some product that I spray in as a leave-in conditioner, and um, it's nicer for poodles, because you really don't want to use a lot of conditioner on poodles, um, because it weighs their hair down, then you can't scissor it. So I have a nice spray that I use afterwards. So let's hear how clean she is. Usually if you run your hand down the, the fur, you can hear her squeaking. So let's listen, let's see if it works. Okay, shh. Oh, hope you can hear that. So that's called squeaky clean. <laughs> They squeak. They actually squeak. There you go. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.